I still don't have my main camera and it's getting to the point that this is just absurd because I want to be filming these Everyday Nerf episodes for all of you so I can share what's going on and I love doing them. It's just driving me crazy, but uh, swinging this thing around. Let's talk about this. This is an Eclipse Gen 2 cage. Now, this is here thanks to a patron that actually offered to order one for me, which was mind-blowing. Uh, and that patron goes by Pandemonium, so a big thank you to him for uh, picking this up and sending it our way to be able to test and share with all of you. Now, I have installed uh, the wheels and gotten things as lined up as I believe I can. It looks, I mean, it's looking like it's all lined up well, and uh, we've got it wired up with fang revamps. I've been testing it on 2S so far. That's where we hit another hitch, which uh, it's a bit of a bummer. So I've been using this shooting crony for years now. And it's always been good. It's always been accurate. It's matched up with what other people have uh, seen on their end with things. However, it's starting to be potentially problematic. The readings for the Eclipse system were not high. We're talking like 130s to 150, maybe. Um, and I was like, okay, well, maybe I installed something wrong. Maybe something's not right. I tested with some other systems and it is indeed not quite right. Uh, so I don't know. I was getting the same kind of drop off in lower FPS. Someone is spamming me on Steam right now. My apologies. Um, but yeah, I've got to figure out what, what to do about this and, and get something, either get this either fixed or another solution so I can get you proper numbers on everything. So that's just kind of what's going on in terms of that. But what I will say is that using this so far, the limited number of mags I have run through, the dart damage so far on 2S has not been that bad, um, which has been impressive. Now, something I did notice is that I was not able to get katana mag adapters to work with this. I don't know why. I know I've seen OFP Phil, I'm sure, I think I've seen OFP Phil shoot uh, katana mags out of this. I tried both uh, Tungsten's adapter and OFP's adapter, which I don't, uh, I don't know. I, I, I'm very confused as to why I couldn't get the adapter to work. It's like the feed lip here is interacting with the katana mag when they're forward faced and preventing it from firing properly which uh or feeding properly rather which is a major bummer uh in terms of installation of wheels and everything it was definitely an endeavor but um <laughs> i found a random screw apparently all right the joys of magnetic motors um but yeah, it wasn't impossible to do, which was nice. It was actually about as difficult as installing my early generation Bulldog wheels. Uh, so not, not the worst experience ever, but not easy, especially considering uh, how precise you want to get the wheels lined up for the Eclipse system. But that's just kind of a quick update on the Eclipse system. I will have another video fully going into this once I have my crony fixed, once I've tested this more thoroughly, but I just want to let you know I have this. Thank you, Pandemonium. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun to test and put through the ringer and see how it performs. Something else I want to talk about today is something that, well, actually I've been wanting to talk about for quite a while, something that was uh, lent to me by Thundercrunk, and that is the Blaster Forge Aurora. Now, some of you may not know this, actually, pretty much everybody won't know this, but uh, Blaster Forge actually sent me one of these Auroras that had been damaged to try and repair. Uh, the repairs hit a bit of a standstill. I've got to get back on that to try more again, but uh, in the meantime, Thundercrunk let me borrow his to test out at games and really see how it felt. This thing is aesthetically awesome 
I love Blaster Forge's designs in terms of uh, aesthetics and, and just how things look overall because he really has an eye for... Uh, I guess you could put it the, the greeblies, the little like detail things that go on something that give it that extra texture and finished look and whatnot. Um, now, I had planned on doing a full review of this blaster. However, he's already released a newer version. So, a full-on review may not make the most sense, but I do want to talk over some of the things I thought about this blaster. So, we already talked aesthetics. I'm a fan. I like them. Plain, plain and simple. Always been a fan of Blaster Forge's aesthetic work. Um, that's an easy one. Uh, in terms of feel and, and actually how it is in hand, there's a good amount of real estate for your hand to go. The front grip is fairly comfortable. There are a few edges uh, they could use with maybe some angling or, or beveling or something to kind of smooth out that may dig into people's hands, but he does have a space set out for you. Again, especially aesthetics, this is a bit of a tough one because this design has changed. So really any thoughts on aesthetics are kind of moot because it is an older version, but, or uh, aesthetics and feel. Regardless, uh, let's talk about function. This is a blaster that uses a similar system as the FDL2. You do have your screen back here with a knob joystick uh, coming off the side here. I wouldn't mind this being somewhere else other than here on the side because it can be a bit in the way almost. Um, and this, this shoots hot. This is a triple stage blaster. As you can see, one, two, three flywheels right there, or uh, flywheel motors set up, and you can run different versions. You can run brush, you can run brushless. This particular setup is hitting around 200 FPS, 180 to 200, depending on darts. Uh, so you're definitely getting some heat out of this, which is really cool, honestly, to be shooting a 200 FPS blaster uh, that is flywheels, full auto, semi-auto, burst, uh, again, you have your settings on here that you can adjust and change. The downsides here, it is not quite as responsive as the FDL2 or other similar blasters. It is um, a little bit sluggish because it does utilize a belt system right here. Inside, you can see the belt, I think, uh, and the belt requires a little bit of a little bit of time to kind of wind up and get things going. Um, I personally would prefer a pusher mech instead, which is something he has done in the past and has talked about, but he has run into issues with jams causing breakages and things like that. So I understand the reasoning. I just would like to see this uh, snappier, quicker, more responsive. Um, but... I do think that it's a very cool looking blaster, aesthetically one of the nicer designs, though his print quality could use a little bit of refining. Uh, some of the joins are a little bit rough, but again, to me, his design work is top notch, which is what I really like about his stuff and his, his ideas are creative. I just want to see him continue to further refine things, which I think he's probably doing with the V2 of the Aurora, but Again, I just want to share some of my thoughts uh, because I didn't get a chance to do a full review of this, but I wanted to give you some of my insight and input after getting, get, getting to use it. And we're actually going to close this video out with some gameplay footage of this blaster. Just a little bit, but uh, I wanted to share with you what it's like to run the field so you can get an idea of what I meant by some of the things I'm saying. Regardless, overall, cool looking blaster. I hope for more refinements in the future going forward and uh, a little bit better response time. Again, I'm a bit of a, a hang up on that because I like that snappy response. So uh, that is my personal preference, but let's get you to the gameplay footage. That's actually gonna do it for this episode. So I'm gonna leave you with that gameplay footage. Then it'll be the outro. Thank you so much for watching. I don't know why I'm pointing at you, but I am. <laughs> Thank you. If you're new to the channel, and you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit the subscribe button for in the future. And as always, I'm Jangular and I'll see you next time.
Flip everything. Still got Ryan far left. up on you. Sorry, we've got five held in here. I'm sorry, I can't aim this thing. This is like a musket. I think that was a blaster hit. 